what we really need is more funding and research to understand how the mind works, especially adolescent minds. One of the things that many successful parents have done is they've tried to give their kids space to think, right? Imagine putting a child with two hours of free time. What would they occupy with if they didn't have a device or they weren't watching a video? And there's some research that's moving in that direction that helps us figure out how much media, how much video, how much attention kids should have to be able to think on their own, to be able to use with their own time versus being bombarded by information and insights. But that's just one aspect of the research album. There's other research that's going to be important. We saw something that popped up the other day that said, you know, middle-aged women were most susceptible to depression from social media. That was a kind of interesting research that popped up there. But I think the, the point was being able to multitask, being able to multi-thread, absorb information at that speed. That's what we need to spend some time with between the neurosciences, public health, and understanding behavioral science. I think that's going to be an area where we can actually start the research. Now, is that industry working with academia, working with policymakers to fund that research? I think that might be the right path, uh, but we should follow the science because if we don't, we're going to be keep, we're going to continue to make policy decisions that are irrational, ideological, and not founded by any sense of data.